Welcome to Narisha Technologies, this is Mahesh. So in this video, we will discuss a new programming language called Kotlin, okay. A new programming language called what? Kotlin. Especially uh, we use this Kotlin language to build the Android applications. So in 2017 May, the Google I.O., uh, the Google is announced an official programming language to build the Android applications, that is a Kotlin. So now there are two official programming languages to build the Android applications. One is a Kotlin and one more language is what? Java. So if you are an Android, if you are planning to learn the Android codes or if you are already an Android developer, so you will get a confusion here which language you have to choose to build the applications, whether we had to choose the Java programming language you had to use to build the applications or we had to use a Kotlin language you had to use to build the applications. I recommend Kotlin to build the Android applications. The reason is the main difference between the Java and Kotlin is Kotlin is a modern object oriented programming language. Like we are having some modern programming languages like Python, Swift, Scala, like these kind of languages, a new programming language, the modern programming language is Kotlin. It is having so many features than Java. Of course, internally the Kotlin code also will run on the Java virtual machine it will run. So whatever the features we are having with JVM, like the platform independent, as well as security, robust, all these uh, features we got for Java because of JVM. Internally, the Kotlin code also will run on the JVM, the Kotlin code will run. So whatever the features, the JVM features are there will be remain same as well as it is having some more features in the Kotlin, like you don't need to end with semicolon. Each and every statement you do not require to end with a semicolon and you do not require to handle the checked exceptions in Kotlin and most frequent exceptions we will get in the Java development is nothing but null pointer exception. If you are already a programmer or you know you will face n number of times in the development we will get the exceptions called null pointer exceptions. But in Kotlin the chance of getting the null pointer exceptions are very less. It is called as a, a null safe programming language we call, okay. So and we are having a when statement like if a switch we are having a when statement we are having, we are having some range operators we are having like that Kotlin is having uh, so many features it is having. So in this video, I will explain you what is the features of Kotlin and we will set up the environment we will set up to build the Kotlin applications and to test the Kotlin applications, we will see how to set up the environment. And one more great advantage with Kotlin is nothing but the Kotlin code you can run on the a desktop application you can run as well as you can run on the browser also you can run. Meaning this Kotlin code will run on the JVM it will run and will run on the JavaScript also it will run. And the future documentation for Android and most of mostly the upcoming documentation for the Android development and all we are getting in the Kotlin language only we are getting. If you are already a Java developer, it is not too difficult to update to Kotlin. If you spend 3 to 4 hours of time, if you spend, you can update to Kotlin, you can update, okay. So let us see here, uh, if you want to write some Kotlin code and if you want to test the Kotlin code, uh, basically this Kotlin is given by JetBrains. A Kotlin is given by the company called JetBrains. The most popular ID of JetBrains is nothing but IntelliJ. The Android studio also will run on top of what? IntelliJ ID, the Android Studio also will run, right. So to develop and test the Kotlin, Kotlin programs, if you want to write and test the Kotlin programs, we require an ID called uh, IntelliJ ID is required to develop and test the Kotlin applications, okay. So use this IntelliJ ID, okay. Let us download the IntelliJ ID, okay. This is what the URL, download this IntelliJ ID to write some Kotlin code and to test the Kotlin code. So here, just click on the download option, the IntelliJ we want to download, let us click on the download option. When you click on the download, we will ask you, the two, two versions are there, ultimate is one thing, one more thing is nothing but community. Ultimate is a commercial, we had to buy that, but community if you take for JVM and Android development, you can download this. So IntelliJ ID, you, have to, you can download this. So click on the download button, you can download that IntelliJ ID, you can download. 
So already downloaded in my system, already downloaded this IntelliJ ID already downloaded. So I use that, okay, IntelliJ ID I use. So after you download the IntelliJ ID, let us start the IntelliJ. Just download and set up the IntelliJ ID. Then after that, let us start the IntelliJ. And quickly if you see some of the features of Kotlin, you can go to this URL called gast.github.com if you want to see the features of Kotlin, gast.github.com slash mahi1108. Just go through this URL. In this URL, I listed all the Kotlin features I listed. Okay. So quickly we will see uh, the features of Kotlin or the Java. Then after that we will see our first Hello World program we will see. If you see the features, if you see Kotlin language features, the first feature is nothing but Kotlin does not need what? The semicolon to end of the statement. The end of the statement you do not require to write the semicolon and Kotlin is a null safe programming language. Just I told you, uh, mostly you will get the exception called null pointer exceptions we will get uh, in the programming. So, but if you use a Kotlin, if you use, so the chance of getting the null pointer exceptions are very less. The other thing is nothing but Kotlin is Java interoperable. This is another great uh, feature with the Kotlin, Java interoperable. It means that a Kotlin code can communicate with the Java code, a Java code can communicate with Kotlin. That support is there. Java code you can communicate with what? With Kotlin code you can communicate and Kotlin code also can communicate with what? Java. I am telling it is not a replacement of Java. Okay, Internally Kotlin code also will, will run on the JVM only it will run. It is a refined Java code. One of the major, I mean main advantage with Kotlin is nothing but the program, program size is going to reduce a lot. You know some uh, developers like a Python, like Swift, like these kind of developers are saying, hey Java, you are an old programming language, you know, uh, the code is going to optimize a lot if you use this, uh, the Python or Swift, like these kind of languages. So now the Java is giving a strong answer for those type of people. Java is not old, even the Java is also having some modern language features. And if you use the Kotlin language, if you use, the code will be optimized a lot than other programming languages. Your code is going to reduce a lot if you use a Kotlin programming language. This is another great advantage of the Kotlin, it is 100 percent is interoperable. A Java code can communicate with Kotlin, Kotlin code can communicate with Java. Okay? It is a refined Java code we call Kotlin is. And Kotlin has no primitive data types. We know that uh, in Java there are two different, two types of data types are there, primitive types and reference types. Right? A small int you can call as a primitive type. The capital int will be, con capital integer will be considered as a what type of date? Object type you can consider or wrapper class we call. But in Kotlin there is no primitive data types. Everything will be considered as what? As a reference type only we will consider everything. So this is that there is no primitive data types. Everything will be considered as what? Object type only it will cons consider. But optimizes their object. So for the JVM, okay. So Kotlin classes have properties. There is no fields. Here, what is the meaning of this statement is nothing but in Kotlin, there is two types of variables. One is a var, one more thing is nothing but val. In depth, I will explain in the coming videos, I will explain about that var and val. Var means nothing but mutable. We can modify the value, you can modify. Val means nothing but you cannot modify a value, you cannot modify. It is immutable type. There is no uh, multiple data types, either mutable and immutable type. Okay. And Kotlin offers data classes with auto-generated equals hash code methods. If you are a Java developer, uh, you heard this term called POJO classes, bean classes, encapsulation class. What is all these things is nothing but we will hide the data we will hide by using the a private keyword we will hide the data in the class. To access this data from outside the class we will generate the public methods we will generate. The setter methods and getter methods we will generate. By using the setter methods and getter methods, we can access the data outside the class we can access. But here in Java, if you want to generate the bean class, if you want to generate, it is very simple. Declare the class as a data, that is it. If you declare the class as a data, if you declare, it is going to be act as a, a bean class, it will act. You do not require to gen, uh, specify the variables as private, public methods, setter methods and getter methods not required to generate. This is another feature with the Kotlin. And Kotlin only has runtime exceptions. It is not having any checked exceptions, it is not having. It is having only what kind of exceptions? The runtime exceptions only it is having. 
And for creating the object in Kotlin, so Kotlin has no new keyword. Like in Java, we know that for creating the object, we are going to specify new, we'll specify the class name, we'll specify like this. We'll specify, we'll create the object, we'll create like this, we'll create the object, we'll create in Java. But in Kotlin, you don't require to specify the new keyword, you don't require to specify. Directly you can specify the class name to create an object. Like if you want, you can specify it's immutable, you can specify var c is equals to, you can specify class name. At left side, you don't require to specify this particular variable of what type you don't require to specify, the type is not required to specify. We'll see in the coming videos more about this, uh, the, the variable creation, what is var, val and all. But one of the feature with Kotlin is nothing but you don't require to write the new keyword for creating the object. And creating the objects is done just by calling the constructor. So here, we are calling the constructor of a class here, right? We are not using any new keyword we are not using. So this is a syntax of creating an object. So next, uh, Kotlin supports the limited operator overloading and Kotlin can not only be compiled to bytecode for the JVM, but also into JavaScript. Like initially in the video I told you, the Kotlin code you can run on the JVM you can run, as well as you can run the Kotlin code you can run on the JavaScript also you can run the Kotlin code you can run, okay. So the future is good with the Kotlin because, you know, we can run the code, we know that JavaScript is, you know, becoming more and more popular day by day. So you can run the Kotlin code, you can run on the JVM, you can run as well as you can run on the JavaScript also, you can run the Kotlin code. And Kotlin is fully compatible with the Java 6. So you can, you can run the Kotlin code, you can run on top of Java 6 and higher versions, you can run the Kotlin code, you can run. And officially supported language for what? Android development. Personally, I'm telling as an Android developer, I'm more comfortable with the Kotlin than Java programming language. Now initially, it's difficult to update, but once you start using the Kotlin, you know, you'll enjoy working with the Kotlin than the Java development, okay? And Kotlin collections have a built-in, uh, like how we are having the Java collections in Kotlin also, we are having the collections like map, set, list, like these kind of collections, we have the uh, more uh, advanced features, like we are having streams, filters, like these kind of concepts we are having in the Java 8 version, right? Even along with those features, even some more advanced features we will get in the Kotlin language in the collections, okay? And these are some of the features to build the applications we required an ID called IntelliJ ID is required to write some Kotlin code and to test the Kotlin code. And Android Studio also will run on what? On top of IntelliJ. So these are some of the features of the Kotlin and we discuss that to develop and test the Kotlin code, we required the IntelliJ ID is required. I downloaded the IntelliJ ID, I downloaded it. We started the IntelliJ ID, we started. We'll see just our output of our Hello World program, we'll see the output. So once you start the IntelliJ, you'll find the option here called create a new project. Choose this option called create a new project. Create a new project. And we want to write the Kotlin code you want to write. This Kotlin code you want to test on the JVM you want to test or JavaScript you want to test, you have to choose. Or you want to run on both multi-platform on JVM as well as JavaScript on both you want to run, you have to specify. So initially we want to write the Kotlin code you want to write which will run on top of what? JVM. So click on next. I specify what is the project name. I'm specifying a project name called, this is our first First app is a project name I specified. This is our first Kotlin program. I specified a project name as first app is a project name I specified. So click on finish. So once if you click the finish button, you're going to get a project you're going to get. So you got an IntelliJ project record. Uh, once if you create a project for Kotlin, the project contains mainly three folders, like first app, external libraries, the project name, external libraries, as well as the scratches and consoles. I want to write, uh, in this video, just I want to write one Hello World program and I want to run that Hello World program I want to run in Kotlin. So for that, use this SRC under the SRC folder. First, you have to create a package you have to create first. Right click on the SRC, you can find an option here called new, new, or choose an option called package. Right click on SRC, new, package. Specify what is the package name. I specified a package name called NIT, NIT.Kotlin is a package name I specified. Under the SRC folder, we created a package called NIT.Kotlin is a package name I specified. In this package, 
in this package, right click on the package declaration, new, new, we can write the Kotlin, Kotlin class or file, what, which file you want to create, you have to specify. I want to create a Kotlin file or class I want to create. Let us choose this Kotlin file or class. Specify what is a class name and specifying a class name called something like test is a class name I specified. I specified a class name called file name called what? Test is a file name I specified. Under this package declaration, it is optional, it is not mandatory. If you do not write a package, you will not get the package statement, you will not get. Under that package, we created a file we created called test.kt is a file we created. Same like .java extension for Java files, Kotlin file extension will be .kt's extension. Inside this Kotlin file, like uh, the Java execution of the program is going to begin with the main method. Here also in Kotlin also, the execution will be begins with the main method. I am creating a function I am creating, we'll get, we are going to create a function in Kotlin by using the fun keyword, we will create a function we will create. What is the function name? I specified, main is a function name I specified. Inside function, we specified a function name called main is a function name we specified. Like how our Java is taking the input parameters, a string array as input parameter, you can specify aux is a reference of, of type array of string. We create a function we created called main is a function name we created, which is taking the string array as input parameter. Just I want to print some message I want to print here. Welcome to Narashati message I want to print. You can write printf a print ln, a print, a print ln. I am printing a message called welcome to Narishat. Okay. We create a main function we created. See in case of Java, the same code if you want to write, we had to create one class we had to create. I mean the same thing if you want to represent in Java, if you want to represent, we will specify class, class name and inside that we will create one function, we will create like this, public. The same thing in case of Java, we had to write these many lines of code we had to write just to print a hello world message. Just to print a message, welcome to Naresh IT message if you want to print. We had to write these many lines of code we had to write in the Java, we had to write these many lines of code. These lines of code we are representing in Kotlin with one single statement we are representing in the Kotlin. We are creating a function we are creating, this is called as an inline function we call. We specified a function name, we are calling the print element method. What about the class declaration? You have not specified the class name, you have not specified. Whatever the file name you specified here, test.kt is a file name you specified. That name will be considered as a file name it will consider. Whatever the code we are writing here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lines of code, we are writing in one single statement, we are writing that code. So I am telling again, it is not a replacement of Java. Internally Kotlin code also will run on the Java it will run. The one advantage if you will get if you use a Kotlin language is nothing but the code will optimize a lot. The size of the program will be reduced a lot if you use a Kotlin. Internally a Kotlin code also will run on the JVM only. Like what are the features we are having, what are the Java got the features with JVM like platform independency, portable, a security, robust, like all these features will be remain same in the Kotlin also. And one great thing is nothing but it is a modern programming language the code will be optimized a lot. Not only for Android development, even some of the companies also started using the Kotlin for building the Java web applications also. For using the Java web applications to build the Java web applications, they are using the Kotlin language they are using. So, let us see here, we create a main method we created, let us run the program, run on, run this Kotlin file. So run the Kotlin file, just we are printing a message called welcome to Naresh is a message we are printing. Let us see here. So, you got a message we got called welcome to Naresh is a message we got. Okay. So, this is about just a Kotlin introduction and we seen the output of our first hello world application we seen with Kotlin. Okay. So, thank you. In the next video, we will talk more about the Kotlin a programming concepts like variables creation, methods creation, constructor, object, classes creation, all these things we discuss in the next video we will discuss. Okay. Thank you.